So today I'm out in the woods, out around my house, uh, which is a great thing to do on a beautiful day in March. And I'm in some really good, uh, what we might call edge habitat. And edge habitat just means this is an area where there's not a whole lot of really tall trees. Um, we got a lot of small trees and the, the canopy is very open and so this place is going to get lots of sun. This is a great place to find local lizards. Um, you get into areas of the forest that are just really uh, heavily forested and, and shaded. You're not going to get as much sun. The temperature is going to be lower. It's not quite as good habitat for uh, herps. But um, today while I was out I found something really cool that is not a lizard. So this is a salamander. It's actually a newt. This is Notophthalmus viridescens. It's the red spotted newt. And this is what we call the EFT stage, E-F-T, of the red spotted newt. And so one thing about these newts, they have a really cool life history in that um, they, uh, they hatch from eggs in the water and their larva. Um, but then they, they actually go through kind of like two uh, series of uh, metamorphosis, if you want to think of it that way. They go through metamorphosis from larvae uh, to this land stage that we call an EFT. And you'll notice this guy doesn't have any gills. Um, you know, he's definitely uh, just like a terrestrial salamander. He's gonna be crawling around on the ground and looking for bugs and things to eat. But later on, um, he's actually gonna develop a little bit more and he's gonna return to the water. Uh, he or she, this could be a female, I think it's a male, but um, he's gonna return to the water and then he's actually going to become fully aquatic again. And so his tail's going to grow this nice uh, fin on it that he'll use for swimming uh, on the top and on the bottom. Um, and uh, basically this, this dude's going to go back to being an aquatic amphibian again. Um, and most salamanders, most newts, don't do that. So this, this animal is really unique in terms of its life history in that it has this really uh, special eft stage. So I actually found this guy um, just underneath this uh, this big shaving of bark that fell off of a tree around here. Uh, he was right under here. He's probably just trying to keep cool here in the sun. You can see it's really sunny where we're at. And so I'm going to put this guy back where I found him. But again, that's Notophthalmus viridescens. It is the eastern spotted newt. And this is the eft stage of that species and like I said this this guy's going to go through another transformation a little bit later in his life and return back to the water and that's where he's going to carry out the rest of the life cycle. That's where it's going to become sexually mature and, and actually breed with a uh, member of the opposite sex and, and produce eggs. Um, so a couple things that are close to me here there's actually a ditch uh, that holds standing water just over there and then just on the other side of that hill over there, there's a big pond, and there's a drainage that runs under that hill. And so I'm betting that this guy is eventually going to make his way back either to um, to one of those two places, to the to the pond or to that water over there. You see the underside of him is really yellow, really light. Some of these dudes get really, really, really red. Uh, so if you if you're out and you find something that looks kind of like this, and it's just got an incredibly red hue to it, it's the same thing. This guy is a little bit more on the green side, and I'm not sure if that means anything or not. It might. Somebody can comment if they know a little bit more about these dudes than I do. But anyway, it's a really cool amphibian that I found out today while messing around. So, you know, just one more reason that you should get outside. Get outside around your house. Um, you don't have to go to a really crazy exotic place to find really cool animals. Usually you can find some of the most amazing things in the world right in your own backyard.